Hey, Taste Wise Kids. My name is Dana Sicko, and I am the owner of Gumbelow Gourmet in Baltimore, Maryland. I am so excited to be celebrating Salad Month with you all, and we're gonna be celebrating today by making spinach salads. So today we're going to be using baby spinach. You might find large leafy spinach a lot at the um, farmer's market. You can find baby spinach there. I love to get my ingredients at the farmer's market whenever I can, especially now that the weather is warming up. It's a great place to go and shop. So I love using spinach in salads too because it is a nutritional powerhouse. I call it the Hulk of the vegetable world. It's high in lots of vitamins and minerals, including calcium, which keeps our bones nice and strong. So we're gonna use this as the base of our salad today. And the first salad we are going to make, cause we're gonna make two salads, um, is what I call the Avenger salad. So like I said, spinach is sort of like the Hulk cause the Hulk is the strongest Avenger, but all the Avengers do better when they're all working together. So we're gonna put in some other powerhouse fruits and vegetables to our salad here. So the first thing that we're going to add in is some delicious radish. If you haven't had radishes before, they're a little bit spicy, um, they're nice and crunchy. If you don't like spicy, you can maybe leave them out. That's okay, we're gonna add lots of other nice crunch to our, our salad here. But I love also their color because sometimes they're a little purpley and sometimes they're nice hot pink on the outside and white on the inside. They're such a cool looking vegetable. We're also going to add in some delicious sweet strawberries. Strawberries are great for vitamin C. They're so delicious and they just really add a nice little bit of sweetness and softness to our salad. So, and as I, I'm putting everything into our salad, I'm putting, making sure I put some uh, ingredients on the bottom too. There's nothing like getting to the bottom of your salad. You don't have all those great ingredients together. So I like to chop up my strawberries in all different sizes so I can make sure I get strawberries throughout my entire salad. The next ingredient that we're going to be adding in is jicama. Jicama is such a cool vegetable because it has the crunch like an apple, but it kind of tastes like a cucumber. So if you haven't tried jicama before, definitely try adding it to your salad. Almost looks like little bits of cheese that I'm putting in here. Excuse me, but we're adding actual jicama. It's one of my favorite things to dip into, um, you know, with like with crudite and stuff like that. So it's a really yummy snack. Next, we're gonna add some really refreshing cucumber. When it is so hot, I love to add cucumber to everything that I am eating and drinking. It's so refreshing, there's so much water in it, it helps keep you cool too when you're feeling nice and warm. All right, we got lots of cucumber in there. Next, let's add in some snap peas. So snap peas are so fun because they also, if you slice them down the middle, you can still see the peas inside there. So we're gonna put some of those right on top because they're really nice and neat, but they have a slight sweetness to them and they also have a good crunch. I love a crunchy salad. Spinach does not have a lot of crunch, so I like to pair it with things that are nice and crunchy so I get a really yummy salad. So we're gonna put them right all together, put some yummy snap peas on top, and last but not least, we're gonna put on some pepitas or uh, pumpkin seeds for some nice crunch, but also they add a great little bit of fat to our salad as well. My favorite salad dressing is poppy seed dressing because we have a lot of great ingredients in here that have a little bit of sweetness. This has a touch of sweetness too, and it balances really, really nicely with the spinach salad as a whole. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit right on top there. I'm gonna dress it all up and eat it in just a second. But first, we're going to go ahead and we're also going to make a taco salad. So, for our taco salad, we are also going to be starting with spinach as our base ingredient. Again, it's our nice, it's our strong salad. So, we're also going to be adding some protein in because protein is a great nutritional macronutrient that we need to make sure we get. So again, we're using our baby spinach, nice and soft, really nice mild flavor. So it gets along great with lots of ingredients. So we have our baby spinach and then we have some 
ground turkey taco meat. So we made tacos the other night and we had a little bit left over. So I thought, why not? Let's go ahead and make a taco salad. It's sometimes fun to do this because I love tacos. It's fun to kind of change the direction of things. Usually there's only a little bit of lettuce on a taco, but here we're making spinach the star. So I'm gonna take the turkey taco meat, pour it right on top. Lots of great protein in there. Next, I'm gonna take some corn and black beans that also have some bell peppers and some onions in there. Put that right on top too. We're getting lots of good fiber from these ingredients as well as some more protein. Yum. Next, we're gonna put on some kind of a variety of some Mexican cheeses. Sprinkle that right on top there. Next, look at these really cool tomatoes. They're cherry tomatoes of all different colors. We have orange, we have yellow, we have red. This is also something that's really fun to see as your farmers might be growing them later in the season um, to pick up all different color tomatoes. I would say if your food can be different colors, if it can look like a rainbow, then you're eating better and you're eating more nutritious than you were if it weren't a rainbow. All those different colors mean different vitamins, different minerals. It's great to get a variety of them in your diet. So we'll put them right on top. We're gonna add some yummy avocado, which has really great fats for you right on top there. I love avocado. And next, I took some corn chips. We're just gonna break them up and put them right on top. So it's sort of a reverse taco made as a salad. And then lastly, our dressing, I wanted to use something really nice and fresh. So I used some lime juice in there, uh, as well as just some great seasonings like garlic and onion, um, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of honey, and it's just really nice and refreshing with all of those great vegetables and taco ingredients in there. And there we have it, our taco salad. So, I want to thank you guys all so much for celebrating salad month with me. Hopefully we'll get to see you at um, Gundalo Gourmet and you can enjoy some of our salads too. Can't wait to see what you guys create. Bye.